Hey everyone, it's Amador. So I just got my design team package for this month for um, for August for the Art Attack shop. Now, several announcements right now. So let me get let me give you guys some info. So um, Zibit is a piece of crap right now. <laughs> it's like totally messed up on so many people's um, store, so, so many of the stores and everything. It's just it's just a hot mess right now. But the awesome awesome thing is that Tracy said, you know what? Here's what we're gonna do. She went ahead and opened up a whole web store now. So instead of going to Zibit, you can go. I'm, we're gonna leave the links. Of course, the link is going to be down here um, for the new store. So it's it's all set up. I taken a peek. She's been like hustling. She's been working her butt off today, making sure that thing is set up with everything. It has a tilde. It has everything. And by the way. It's all on sale, okay? A whole bunch of the stuff, I mean, is all on sale. She's having massive sales. Remember, check out the coupons um, that she that, that she has and everything. And there's always the blue light special, um, which every month there's something that if you buy any, uh, when you make a $10 order or more, you automatically get this item. You put it in, in the, um, in your cart and you put in the code blue light, uh, blue light special, I think? Yeah, blue light. And you get that item for half off. So that's crazy cool. Um, I, you've seen them in my previous hauls because um, not only am I a design team member, but I'm also a client. So anyway, um, because I do shop too much. So anyway, that's neither here nor there. So yes, you guys, so now, like I said, make sure that you are checking the shop. The Tilda paper should be here um, next week. We've been, you know, she's been working on the shipping and everything and... It's it's super awesome. It's really good prices. And remember, as far as the shipping, uh, the items are calculated. So after you finish your order, you submit your order. You'll see the ship. The shipping is a little different. But once she will always, always, always send you the cheapest shipping. They have specific shipping, and then if it goes over a certain amount of weight, it'll be in a flat rate box. And all of the money, I mean, every time that there's money left over uh, past a dollar of the um, shipping part, it'll be all refunded to you on your PayPal. So that is a super awesome thing. No other store that I know of does that. Um, because each item is marked, you know, some stores, uh, they don't have it all calculated or it'll have, you know, whatever. The point is, she does refund shipping. So that's really, really good. So even though you're shipping, and trust me, I've actually bought tons of stuff and then the shipping was a certain amount and I always get that back and so does everybody else. So make sure you check that out. Don't let that deter you because she does refund that. Um, so let me show you what I got. And as far as this month, you guys... I am totally, totally, totally challenging myself. You're going to see what I mean. If you follow my videos or follow me or know the kind of crafts that I like and the kind of stamps and everything, you'll be kind of shocked and amazed in a minute. So let me let, let me just get to that. But let me show you first what I got. I got some of this paper, and this is the Vintage Notes. This is by Paper Mania, and this is the shabby, vintage, just gorgeous um, vintage uh, print um, papers. If I'm not mistaken, all of the papers that I got are from the UK. So let me just show you. That had a little sampling of each one. And there's several doilies on this paper line. And there are, how many? Oh, there's two pages of each. And this is 6x6. Six six, and it is textured. I don't think the camera's picking it up, but it's, it is textured. I didn't even know it was textu textured. And then when I, um, and it's single-sided. So when I was going through them, I'm like, wait a minute. I'm like, am I just, you know, seeing things? Because I went out to eat, and I'm, like, t super full, so uh, I'm having, like, the tummies. Um, so anyway, look at that. I absolutely, you guys, if you guys know me, um, know that I love that. There's some of these flowers. I mean, flowers, excuse me, hearts. I'm, like, totally distracted. Some more of these doilies and these itty-bitty doilies. Some more of this blue print. Let's check that out. Super awesome. I actually, this, I saw it. Automatically, I hit with an idea. I absolutely love it. Love it, love it. And these are small doilies, like floral print doilies on there, on that background paper. Soft blue, and like I said, it's all, all of it is textured. Just love it, love it. Right there. And I didn't know, because I've never had this paper, <laughs> I didn't know that this one actually comes with sentiments. Oops, sorry which um, has these little sentiment pa uh, parts right here. And I like the fact, if you think about it, um, I actually like it how the sentiment, the space is a pretty nice size space, but the sentiment is towards the center. So you could die cut it, punch it out, whatever you wanna do. And it even has like a little blank one. So that's super cool. Two pages of each, like I said. Um, these creams, it has lots of cream backgrounds. Some more of those hearts. I love that print and this one has more of a green tint and also on the back it has it has two pages of those it has um, these cutout parts which have journaling spots 
or just something for a sentiment, for a statement. This cute little month ticket that you just write down the month and you circle like the date if you want to use it for like Project Life or something like that. So that one, and I've never had this paper and I've always wanted, I wanted it for a while actually. Um, and then I saw she had it, I'm like, I have to have it. So that's the uh, Paper Mania Vintage uh, Notes, 6x6. Six six. The next one that I got is, this one is, this one is called Annabelle's Garden. And it's by Wild Rose Studio, uh, artwork by Karen Smith. This is just adorable. It has, if you love floral prints, this has them for you. And this has three sheets of each paper. I'm, I'm just, I thought they were cute on the... On, on the site and I just saw it and I'm like okay I absolutely love it. look at that it's just adorable and if and if you guys have seen some of my previous projects you guys know I like scene cards so I'm always looking for a good scene and this one just a little bunch of flowers like a garden these cute little lambs I thought it was a poodle the first time I saw it <laughs> yeah cuz I'm crazy like that and this one has little banners uh, with little birdies let me see. And trust me, these will be serious for some background. Not the biggest fan of yellow, but there it is. Roses. And they're like watercolor, hand-drawn kind of situation. Look at those. Super, super cool stripes. Um, but this one, that just begging, is just begging for a stamp of something right there. Super, super cute. And the cool thing is, I can make three of them because it comes with three sheets. And this is just adorable. With the bunny and the little cart full of flowers so you know I'm probably gonna go nuts and try to fussy cut some of that um, for a little scene card here's some more it looks like flowers in the wind so yeah so that is oh and it has a serious thick piece of chi chi chipboard not chipboard um, right there so that one is Annabelle's Garden totally love it um, by Wild Rose Studio I'll just put those right there okay Tracy also sent us a, s a few different of these doilies, and they're just so soft, super cute and small, very detailed. She has a few doilies in her shop. She sent me some of sent us some of those. Now this month we're going to be doing projects with bottle caps. If you guys have seen Sabrina, Sabrina is also one of our design team members. She is a magician with these bottle caps. So uh, Sabrina, here we go. You you're gonna shine some more, lady. So here is some of these, some of these blossom, I think that's what they're called, blossom bottle caps. And these teeny, teeny, tiny ones. I'm totally trying to figure out what to do with those. Super, super cute. And she also sent us, let me put these over here so I don't lose them, these. And this has a range of, this has what, five? Five of them from this big one, which is probably about, if I had a ruler ready. Of course, Mr. Prepared here. The big one is about four inches. The next one is three, uh, about two, and that one's a one inch, and then the little one's about half an inch. So that is super, super cool. I have to think of something cool to do with that. I have several of these, and I haven't used them, so this will be a chance. So, okay, now for your awe and amazement of what I'm going to attempt. Sweet baby Jesus. So I decided to challenge myself. I like to challenge myself every once in a while. I'll do this or I'll do that or I'll try something new. And this is my challenge for myself for this um, for this month. <laughs> Hopefully, if it goes you know beyond that, I'm gonna try it. But she has several stamps. Tracy has several stamps. CC Design. Um, totally losing my mind right now. Some odd girl and some other ones. Um, but she also has Magnolia Tilda stamps. I will wait for your gasp. Take a moment. So this is the first Magnolia stamp, or as I have referred to them, Toeheads, in the past. Um, so if you guys can see, this image, this card did not come with the packaging. The stamp is here, and it always has this little itty bitty tinky dinky um, image that I guess we're supposed to psychically see and know what it is. That's the only thing I, well that's many of the things that I do not like about their packaging, but whatever. I didn't make it. That's not my problem, I guess. So I go ahead and most of the stamps that I get, I'm, maybe you guys have seen this in the past, I like to stamp on acetate. I bought a big pack of acetate a long time ago at like Office Depot or Office Max or something like that. Um, and on the stamps that you really can't tell, and especially these because you can't tell to save your life what that is, um, and this one is called, what's this one called? Poppy Tilda. Um, I stamp it on acetate, but not only that, let me show you guys. Let's say I'm going to um, 
I'm going to paper piece her dress. I'm trying to find some paper. And I need to see, like, how the image is going to look or where am I going to get it from kind of situation. Or if not only that, I want to see how it's going to look next to an actual um, image on a piece of paper. I can always do that. Um, like in this one, bam, look at that. Like, ready-made card for you. So I always do that. I try to do that at least on uh, a piece of acetate. So I can see the image, but not only that, I don't have to rifle through them, especially if I do get more of these. Don't know if that's going to happen. Um, of the toe heads to have them so I have the image so I can actually see it, you know, like every other stamp company does. I mean, if anybody hears me out there. But, um, <laughs> and I put a little uh, piece of just scrap cardstock in there so you could see it, so I could see the image, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to use the. Um, Magnolia dies that I already have. And by the way, uh, Tracy also has a few Magnolia dies in her shop. So there it is, you guys. That is a challenge. Not just, um, it's to challenge myself, to, to get over my fear of the toe heads. But I want to, and I, and I chose one, she has several of them, and I chose one that, you know, I've seen some out there that kind of have the face covered, but, um, I, you know, I'm like, you know what, let's roll with this. Let's, I can't complain about it until I actually try it. For all we know, I might like totally fall in love with these stamps, and then I'll buy more, and then I'll go nuts, but whatever. So yeah, so that is my um, my uh, my thing that I'm going to be working on this month. So hopefully it all goes well. Hopefully I do it justice. I know they're very popular, you guys. She has, Like I said, she has several in her shop. But that is what I'm going to be doing this month. I, hopefully I will do it justice. Um, and like, you know, I've never done a gorgeous girl. And I did a few gorgeous girls. Uh, that didn't sound right. I did a few of the Gorgeous Girl stamps, so I, you know, they came out pretty, I like to think they came out pretty good. So, so yeah, so that is what I'll be doing, so let me know if you're shocked and amazed at my new, at how I'm, I'm telling you, I want to challenge myself, I want to put myself forward and do different things, um, because I feel if I don't, I'll never know if I like it, you know? So yeah, so you guys, like I said, check out Tracy's shop. It ha check out check out the new shop. Excuse me. Like I said, I will put the link in the description so you guys can totally see all of the stuff. And you know, because Zibit's broken, so she still has her Zibit shop. I'm not sure if it's gonna stay open or went out, but now that she has a web store, bam, you know, it, it's awesome. With tons of stuff. I already peeked on it. Like I said, peeked uh, through it and stuff. So yeah, so you guys check it out. Use the links and um, check out all the awesome stuff. She also has pre-sale stuff and pre-order stuff. Stuff that you can request from her. So that is the awesomeness of it. So yeah, so go check it out, you guys. And I will talk to you guys soon. Keep your fingers crossed. Let's see how this whole Magnolia Tilda thing goes on, alright? Alright, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye, everyone.